Okay, so um, in terms of the shot and things like that, so um, I'm going to put the article, I'm going to put a screenshot in this video so that we all can see. I'm going to set it over here somewhere. But y'all remember back whenever this whole thing first came out, everybody, well, they touched on it a little bit. But then after that, like, you didn't hear about it no more to where it was talking about there being nanoparticles inside of the shot. And um, I feel like a lot of the articles and things that they put out like that in terms of health wise are true. But it's one of those things to where they have to tell you about it, but they can't tell you too much about it in terms of what's going on. You know, just know that this is what we got, but, you know, we ain't going to tell you what it is that we're doing with it in terms of um, with your body and things like that. So I think that in terms of the shot, um, those um, could possibly be inside of it in terms of nanotechnology. And then you know that anything that's being injected into your bloodstream is able to travel throughout your whole body so say for instance okay you go and get the shot you get injected with these nanoparticles okay from what i believe this is opinion video but you get injected with these nanoparticles um and say for instance you're a person that's already sick you already have something in terms of underlying disease or something like that um wouldn't it possibly would be well that this could affect like your blood flow like say for instance if they wanted to restrict a certain part of your body from receiving blood or um because especially if you live in a co uh, colder climate during this time your blood's already going to be restricted because of the cold um so if you're not warm your body's going to be cold and that's going to restrict your blood flow and then you also have these nanoparticles that are inside you that could cause things so say for instance what if they can control your body temperature or what if, like I said, they can restrict a certain part of your body from receiving blood or the blood circulating or, um, you know, like things like that is what I think about because uh, we're so advanced in terms of technology, uh, way more advanced than what it is that we see. And I feel like that's why it could be getting pushed so heavily. It's because, like everyone's saying, it's one of those things to where they want to control you, but it's more of on a mass scale in terms of control to where they want to control how your body is acting or interacting. And of course, whenever you're injected with these nanoparticles, um, they're going to have you on file, you know, that you went and got it. So they already know who you are. They already have your identification and things like that. Um, more than likely, it's probably like a little thing that they pull up on the computer. I got your picture, your name, all your diseases and things that you have. So it's one of those things to where this is like ultimate control over people. This is more of like live or die type of situation. Like we can basically play God to a certain aspect to where we can decide who it is that goes through whatever medically. Um, and you know it's one of those things to where whenever you give someone medical decisions over your body you also have to sit back and try to get whatever medicine it is but of course you're not going to be able to the medicine's not going to be effective because the medicine already has side effects and a lot of these medicines mess with your moods so that's another thing that's going to play a part like i said your mood and emotions plays heavily into your physical health and at the same time you'll also have nanotechnology in you which is causing other complications so now it's like you just can't win and um also thought of this so this is more than likely why plastic surgery is being pushed so heavy too as well um because it's one of those things where if you think about like okay this is inside of a shot can you think about like this being inside of whatever it is that they decide to put inside you in terms of uh, surgery like say for instance you go to go and get your butt done or you go to go get implants or something like that um i would imagine that you know maybe some form of this technology might be getting put inside of you so say for instance if you're one of these celebrities and um your pr team is pushing you to go and get whatever surgery okay now you don't want to got the surgery but you also got injected or nanotechnology put inside you so say for instance you're not doing what it is that they want you to do in terms of um in the music world we'll say it's one of y'all music artists so if you're not doing what it is that they want you to do in terms of putting out new music um going and parading yourself and making yourself look a certain way then we're gonna deflate one of your we're gonna deflate whatever it is you know what i'm saying um we're gonna cause whatever it is to leak um we're gonna cause you know some sort of medical mishap to happen 
and you're not going to know why it's happening. And you're going to be like, oh, well, I got these injections or I got these um, implants like last month. What's going on? Um, oh, these dogs is going crazy. But what's going on is the fact of you decided to go and put uh, whatever technology it is inside your body. And that's just confirmation. And um, now they have full control over your body because um, you have to think they do have um, certain implants where you're able to just like expand or retract them. Um, so just think of it in that type of situation to where, say, for instance, they wanted to make something happen with whatever it is that you decide to get surgically. Um, so you just have to make sure that you are very aware of yourself and it's one of those things to where um, you need to be happy with your body and what it is that you have but unfortunately it's one of those things where if you are in Hollywood or if you're one of these artists or if you're an actor or something like that you have a lot of people that's pushing you to look a certain way in terms of your image and it's one of those things to where you might not want to make those changes, but in order for you to make it to the next level in terms of your career, you have to make those changes. So now it's playing with you psychologically in terms of making you feel down about yourself, you know, and then now it's also pushing you to go and make decisions that you don't want to make. And then once you do decide to make those decisions, now you're putting yourself in terms of your health in jeopardy because now you are putting whatever it is inside of your body in terms of what it is that they're doing so um yeah that's just i don't know that's just one of the downloads that i got it's just my opinion um y'all let me know what y'all think but yeah that's just my opinion on it um because there's just a lot going on and it's like it's definitely a spiritual warfare mental warfare psychological warfare emotional warfare it's all in one so um it's definitely a lot. And say, for instance, even during this whole situation that went on with um, the whole shot thing, and you see how people, like, um, one of the things is that people were losing their jobs. That plays a heavy part in terms of somebody psychologically and also mentally. And then um, now, in order for you to get a job, you know what I'm saying, at certain places, you have to get this shot. So it's one of those things to where now they have control over you in some way, shape, or form because now you're getting injected with these nanoparticles and this could affect your mood and affect how it is that you operate on a daily. So say for instance, you could be the calmest person whenever you go to work, but then somebody will do something that will irritate you. Then next thing you know, just by you having this nanotechnology in you and them having control over you, you're doing things that you wouldn't normally do. You go and you decide to slap the shit out your boss or something like that. Next thing you know, you're going to jail or you done lost your job. So now next step is someone um, deciding to start getting into drugs that they shouldn't get into. Next thing you know, you know, so it starts a whole spiral downhill. And next thing you know, it leads to death. Um what else uh because i had another thing that i was going to say too but i just like forgot it a second ago but yeah so um you just have to just stay aware out here is the main thing and just stay mentally aware of what it is that you're doing and just try and meditate and balance yourself out emotion wise because otherwise um it could be one of those things to where just based upon them constantly pushing this shot you might end up being one of those people that ends up being imbalanced and then next thing you know you're in a circumstance that you wouldn't have even thought that you would be in but just because of the electromagnetic waves the nanoparticles inside you and I'm pretty sure the nanoparticles are going to be responding from the electromagnetic waves that are being pushed so it's one of those things to where these nanoparticles are going to respond to 5g so regardless if you go and get this shot you're basically um linking in linking yourself with technology in some way shape or form um so yeah what else was it okay so yeah that's the other thing i was gonna say so look at the new cars that are coming out and things like that um i have a feeling that it's gonna get to a point to where these cars they're gonna have some sort of technology to where you can link it to where the cars can 
based upon whatever thought it is that you're sending out or wherever it is that you want to go. You know, say, for instance, uh, you want to go to Walmart. You just, like, think about which Walmart you want to go to and your car is going to end up taking you there. Now, um, a lot of people, um, whenever they're going through certain situations emotionally, say, for instance, in terms of uh, them having an argument with their girlfriend and boyfriend, a lot of people will go and drink or you know, do low vibrational things to try and uh, balance themselves out, but it really doesn't end up balancing them out. It makes you even more susceptible to having uh, mood changes. But say, for instance, you go and you decide that, okay, I'm going to drink tonight. All right. Then you hop inside your car that um, you can connect to your head and it reads your thoughts and you say where you want to go. Okay, well, what happens if one of those thoughts end up being... I want to go off a bridge, you know what I'm saying? Because you're going through so much emotionally. Next thing you know, where are you going to go? <laughs> you <laughs> you round around that new Tesla, but you're going to end up going off of a bridge. And um, it doesn't even have to go as that far. It could go to where, you know, before we even reach you being able to link with the car in terms of mentally, um, it's one of those things to where we already have self-driving cars. So it's already able to like take you certain places. So what happens if they decide to hit basically like a kill switch in your car? You know, if you're one of these artists or celebrities or actors that's not following behind the agenda. Next thing you know, your ass is going off that bridge. And um, it's one of those things where your car malfunction, you know, uh... <laughs> Your car malfunction, and it's one of those things where you can't blame them. Um, I'm pretty sure they're going to have it to where, you know, they already have contracts and things laid out to where you can't blame them. You were the one that chose to go and get that car. You were the one that chose to uh, let the bank lend you that new uh, car or Tesla or whatever make and model that we have. And um, based upon you not listening to whatever it is that they want you to do, they just flip a little switch inside your car and it's not even inside your car it's one of those things to where they already have control of the car you know how it is um a lot of these cars have like the little black box in it where it's able to tell like if you went into an accident it's able to tell where you're going you know um so it's already linked to that company that lent it out to you so um and then whenever you research that company that lent it out to you it comes linked back to one of these elites um so I don't know. It's just something to look out for. And the dogs are going crazy. So that must be confirmation. But anyways, um, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.